Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Jesus prayed for me. The Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I prayed for you, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Luke 22, 31 through 32. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. St. John 17, 15 and 20. Prayer is a good thing. We all need prayer. Prayer is communicating with God. We talk to God for various reasons. Many talk to him for provision and many just talk to him to have a relationship. We've all had issues at times that we've gone to fasting service, we've gone to prayer meetings. There are times when you feel as if you can't do it by yourself. Therefore, you get a prayer partner. We've seen this example in scripture where Daniel, in order to interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream, he got his friends together and they prayed. Have you ever been to that place where you don't know who, but you can feel that there's somebody praying for you? Yes, I've gotten to that place where it's not because somebody told me, but I felt the saints praying for me. And I understand that I'm only here because somebody took the time out to pray. But let's take it a step further. While we appreciate the prayers of all those who are around us, there's one prayer that was made for you long before you were even born. You see, we often refer to Mark 6 as being the Lord's prayer. However, he did not say our Father are the words that we should repeat when we pray. If we really want to hear the Lord's prayer, then we have to go down in St. John chapter 17. Here it illustrates Jesus praying for his disciples. But the beautiful thing is that he did not only pray for his disciples, but he said he's praying for those who would believe on him through their words. Therefore, everyone who believes the apostles' doctrine, you have by divine inheritance obtained the coverage of this prayer. We're in a spiritual warfare and the enemy is relentless. He'll do whatever he can to make sure that he destroys you. Understand this, that Satan doesn't want to only cripple you, he wants to kill you. Jesus speaking to Peter said, Satan desires to have you and to sift you like wheat. In other words, child of God, the reason you're going through the things that you're going through, the reason you're troubled on every side, feeling like sadness has taken up residence in your home, is because the enemy recognizes who you are, and it is his desire to make sure that you're destroyed. But though it's the enemy's plan to destroy me, I've got some protection long before I went into that water and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I've got some protection long before I was filled with the Holy Ghost. I've got some protection long before the preacher laid his hands and prophesied in my life. There ain't nothing wrong with asking the missionary to pray. There ain't nothing wrong with asking the preacher to pray. There ain't nothing wrong with asking my sister or my brother to pray. But I've got somebody who prayed a prayer. The reason you're here today is because Jesus prayed. The reason you're still standing is because Jesus prayed. The reason why you haven't lost your mind is because Jesus prayed. And if anyone chooses never to pray for you again, understand this. Jesus prayed and you're being kept by his power. The quote of the day, long before I got baptized, Jesus prayed for me. As you go to the child of God, go empowered, knowing that you're living and existing in the pride that Jesus prayed. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.